All right, guys, we are back here at Aaron's. This should be part five, I think, of the Viper Fender repair series. So in the last video, we primed them. Um, and then this is the next day. So Aaron did a little bit more primer. There was one section that he already fixed. Um, it was actually on this fender where it kind of, where we did the repair in the middle, it kind of just was a little bit more like squared off than we wanted. So he already fixed that, corrected it. Cause if you guys look at these lines, the way they kind of work is it goes from like this round 90 degree and then it kind of goes more squared off as it gets to the arch. But then as it gets into the back here, it's like really rounded off this profile. So to try to like correct these, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun to try to make it, you know, the way it originally was. Cause like I said, at the top, it has a lot smaller radius. Whereas over here, you can see it's got this huge arch to it. So, but uh, right now what we're about to do is we got some water. We're going to, 400 the whole thing or just this? Uh, just that for now. So we're gonna sand down our primer with 400 grit. Uh, we're gonna wet sand it. And then we are gonna be re-clearing the whole panel. So in our effort to make this thing blend as much as possible, we're only gonna be putting red where we need to. Um, Cause we could paint the whole panel red, but we would risk this portion not matching, color matching the other part. So rather than paint fresh red up to here we're gonna sand the whole thing put red up to somewhere around here fade it in and then we're gonna clear coat the whole panel so that it blends right yeah did i say that like i know what i'm oh, talking yeah. about <laughs> this is what we're gonna use to do the whole panel okay so we'll use those nice little scrubby sand with soap and water so 400 here then we're gonna use the scotch Brite pad everywhere else and then we'll be uh on our way so all the body work i think we're finally done <laughs> Say your good thumb. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> One and a half. One and a half thumbs up. <laughs> and then here's the other panel here. Um, this one is pretty much ready to go too. So like you can see here, it kind of goes a little more square up top and then it fades back into this like rounded radius in the corners. So we're all ready. This one, the primer, um, he did a little bit more touch-ups on it, so um, the primer is still curing. So once it cures, then we can sand this one, but we're gonna work on that and the bumper, and then hopefully paint today. We'll see what happens. Okay, so a little update for you guys. So we got everything blocked out, sanded. Uh, we ended up sanding the whole panel and everything's looking real good, you guys. So we hung them upside down like this too. That way no dust can settle on the top since we're doing a home job. We don't have a paint booth, so we're using what we got. So we hung them upside down. That way, like I said, if any dust settles, it's not gonna settle on like the most visible part down here. And plus, we're going to be painting all the red in here. I might be trying it. I don't know. We'll see. See if Aaron lets me paint this. So this one's all good to go, too. Everything's cleaned up. Aaron's just prepping up the bumper right now. And he wanted me to point out, but hopefully you guys understand. We're not painting the whole bumper. We're just painting this one portion. Um, and we're only painting or blowing in this corner to there because there's that, like, Dodge emblem, same as, like, this side. And it's like embossed into the actual thing kind of like this now it says viper gts but it's got dog on the side so we don't want to paint over top of that and we're just blending it into that corner there so we're only going to paint up to like there and just kind of we'll polish it in afterwards so that's pretty much it we're gonna get this stuff all prepped up and then uh should be painting here shortly and then so i'm learning as well but what we're gonna end up doing is mixing up the red first we're just gonna end up blowing in the red just wherever you see primer pretty much so do red along here, a little bit in here. We're gonna fade it in. And I explained this on the last video, but just to explain again, we don't wanna paint the entire thing red because um, we don't wanna have like, like for example, if you painted this whole thing 
you know, fresh red, where it meets like the door, you probably see a difference in the color. So rather than do that, we're preserving, you know, the stuff that's already good. So that's why we are just gonna spray clear over this. So we're gonna fill in red through here and there, and then we're gonna blend that in, and then we're gonna clear over the whole thing so that you don't notice, like if our red might be like a hint darker, lighter than the existing red, then you're not gonna see it when it meets the next panel. So this way, we already know this matches like where it starts to meet like the roof area. So we don't wanna like paint that new red, that red's still in good shape. So we're gonna paint this and then we'll clear the whole thing. So that'll be the first stage is getting all this gray area red and then uh, we'll be layering some clear on top of that. All right, so do you want to explain it or you want me to explain it? Uh, He's got 100% paint. <laughs> He said we're gonna reduce it 50-50, so we got the reducer. And then he's got this stuff, which he said he likes to use because adhesion promoter. So he's gonna add, how much of that do you put in then? Um, said so not. Maybe 10%. Okay, so not that much then. Not, nothing, really. All right, so 50% on the reducer, and then a little bit of that, and then mix it up, and that'll be our red. So we got our red paint, let's mix it up, and then we'll get spraying. Probably do about eight ounces. So now we'll do four more ounces of reducer. Close, not making it. So we did about an ounce and a half. Okay. Transferring it into our cup for the gun. And that thing has a filter on it. About it. We be ready. I might need you to tighten that. Alright. Why? <laughs> Your thumb not work? <laughs> not on that. <laughs> I'm filming this. <laughs> milk crate challenge to get the zipper. <laughs> Alright, yeah. he passed the milk crate challenge. <laughs> and check this out. He's got a little exhaust fan going here. So that'll be pulling out. I got a respirator since everybody was saying something last time. He's got a respirator. But we were spraying primer before and it didn't really get airborne. So now that we got paint, we're definitely gonna wear these guys. More? Yeah. Uh, no. We can get a little closer though. Like that? Yep. Yeah, that's good. Good? Well, for now, we'll do a second coat afterwards. This one, maybe start up here. Yeah. And then just spray and then continue up into there. And then just do a little pass and up into there. So go like this? Yeah. Pull trigger? And how about my this one? Uh, go light and you'll feel it out as you go in. More? Yeah. Yep, perfect. Can do another one? Yeah. Yep. And go kind of in more. In like this? Yeah, to get that edge. Yep, just like that. Alright. Do you need more up here or Uh, I yeah. Know, like this kind of... Uh, we can do more on that end down there. Yeah. Right here? Yeah, right here. Cause can we could... start here or start here? Yeah, you can start there. Yeah. Alright. And then do the pass there. All right, and then hit this edge. Like a moving target. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Perfect. And then kind of go from maybe here. 
this way. Full trigger? Because I'm only like half triggered. Uh, just feel it out. If you, whatever you're oh, comfortable. Keep doing it. Is this enough, or should I be going more? No, that's enough for the first coat. Because we don't want it. We want to make sure it's adhering well. Okay. That. You're perfect. Yeah, as far as the trigger, like just feel it like wherever you're comfortable with the amount it's putting out. I just don't want to like, you know? No, you got to be like into it. Alright. Full trigger, like up on it. Um, you want to do this one? Yeah. Are you good at that or you want to do it instead? That's fine. Oh, that's good for, yeah, because we're going to do a couple passes on them. Okay. Should I start up here or start up here? Uh, you can start up there in the wheel well. Right here? Yeah. We're not doing here, right? I can't remember. In the wheel well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Oh, that it, the backside edge when you open the door. Right yeah. Uh, what way should I face the gun? Uh, I know the fan is like this, right? Yeah, I would spray it from that backside, like thing? yeah. Yep. Can we do a little in there or not? Yeah, you can. I, I would paint it this way. I don't know if you want to hit this. It's all like white on the back. But... Yeah. You definitely can. Oh, one more time. Closer to the front. What do you mean? Here? Uh, right, that, Here. yeah, that spot. Perfect. Uh, do you want to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so just bring the paint to like right in here. And start off the panel? Yeah, start off, just kind of bring it to here. Okay. Uh, and then kind of follow through on this one like that. Like that? Yep. And you want me to do this? Yep. Okay, let me step back. Yep. All right, so I got two coats of color on here. And then David said usually about four for it to like really start. Three to four. Three to four, but he lays it on thicker because he knows what he's doing, but I'm going like super light because I don't want to make any runs because that's like literally my first time playing with the paint gun here. So but he says I'm doing okay. One and a half thumbs up. <laughs> now we're gonna watch Aaron paint it.
that thing almost all covered. Yeah, granted, you got past the other layer of it. What? See how it's a little bit darker? Yeah. Lighter. You can barely see it now. <laughs> you nervous on that part? boys we're pretty much good we're gonna let this I guess flash up I don't know what I'm saying but that's what he said <laughs> and then that's pretty much it for color coats I know it's a little bit maybe hard to see on camera but we got full coverage you can't really see where any of the repair work stuff is anymore so it should be pretty good boys so she is looking real good quite a bit of coats of color uh, I want to say, I don't even know how many at this point, but we wanted to make sure that it blended in well and that you couldn't see any of the previous repair work. So she is looking spicy. So you guys remember this was all primered, all primered, all primered. This was the one that was completely broken and now it's like you can't even tell which one was what. So this was the fender that had the massive chunk out of it, broken in the middle and do you guys remember there was a huge chunk and now she looks good as ever. And then here's the bumper. Aaron's just mixing up some clear right now. The bumper looks all good. Like I said, we wanted to, we sanded out this because I wasn't, didn't like uh, the way it was. Previous owner left like a bunch of chunky stuff there, I guess when they painted the bumper. So, and then we fixed all the rock chips that were right here on this side. So we're gonna go mix up some clear and then uh, should be well on our way to being completed. All right, Aaron's got the clear in his hand. All right, anything we should know about this or no? No, not really, I mean, it's straightforward from here. This part, so do you just blast everywhere then, right? Yep, you should clear in the whole thing except for over here. Where You're just gonna like fade it into that, yeah. yeah. Cool. Just edging it in. Can you even see? It's getting dark. Yeah, I can see. All right. Let's go. You don't want to try to get all your edges while you're painting the 
So you get the edges first? Yeah. yeah. If you do it after, you're likely to run with you already sprayed on the front side. Okay. So generally, go around, put on the edges, and then go back to the first panel. Boys, check out this paint. Probably can't see it too well in here, so. And this is pretty much a day's end, but she looks so good. Everything's looking nice and glossy. Got three coats of clear on this. So this stuff's gonna dry. And here's the bumper. Looking all fresh. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, give it a thumbs up. Um, on the next video, we will be mounting this stuff to the vehicle if all goes as well. So we're going to wait till the stuff dries up. And then tomorrow we'll double check everything. It should be good to go. And then we'll mount it uh, probably in the next day or so. I still have to put the rib certs. So in the next episode, we'll be prepping the rest of the body, putting the nut certs or rib certs onto the body so we can get these on there. And then probably in a few weeks, we'll end up polishing it. I'll have to discuss with Aaron when we can actually polish this stuff to get it absolutely mirror perfect. So should be good. I'm excited. It looks really good, but comment down below what you guys like best about this stuff. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that we're able to clean all this stuff up and get it looking right. So thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you guys on the next video.